What is good, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Foxy. Welcome back to the Fox's Den. Getting into another reaction. We're getting into episode 15 of Blue Lock. Very, very excited for this because last episode looks like EC is struggling a little bit. And uh, this is a pretty common occurrence at this point uh, throughout the show. Uh, it seems like he's a little bit more on the uh, on the late uh, ball of things, just uh, kind of trying to figure out his own talents and whatnot. Uh, even so, in the in the first selection, which makes sense for the main character though, because it kind of reveals it slowly but surely. And then, sure enough, he eventually gets it, and it's like, bet, say less, like he's fucking nasty now, right? But pretty much the theme of last episode is since they uh, had the, come to terms with losing Bachira, and it's just them two now, Nagi and uh, Isagi. Uh, they started to realize that what their talents and, and their formulas uh, strive off of really and what allows them to be able to use them is passing and receiving passes mainly. Um, you know, Isagi's direct shot and his awareness using the awareness to know where he has to be for the direct shot and then receiving a pass. He has to receive that pass to take a direct shot, you know? Um, and then Nagi, on the other hand, his ball control, he's really good at receiving passes and controlling that ball and then leading it up to uh, make another play. Nagi, we see how crazy his rate of evolution is uh, and just how much of a you know so-called genius or prodigy he really is because he's only been playing the sport for six months and in this game already against Baro and uh, Naruhaya, he's already sort of figured out how to counter Baro in his own way and um, kind of jumped this hurdle already of figuring out how to use his formula in a one-on-one -on -one situation and i mean shit he's doing his thing right now and iski obviously noticed that he's like damn like dude now nah, he's insane like how he can you know he's already evolved evolved this quickly or figured it out this quickly and so he's feeling kind of desperate especially because naruhaya keeps on instigating him and um you know he f said right there at the end he was like damn i can't even beat naruhaya like what the fuck is going on with me so I'm assuming this episode will finally get to see him actually figure out whatever it is that he needs to figure out to be able to make his formula um, suitable for one on one situations or scenarios. Uh, and I'm very curious to see is what that's going to be, because his formula as of now has been his spatial awareness combined with his direct shot. So how what what, what needs to happen? What is he going to do? What is he going to figure out that's going to allow him to be able to use both of those? Or maybe there's something new that he adds on, I guess. Or something or maybe a different variation of a formula because as we can see already like the people that are evolving through blue lock and whatever teams you make up your formula can kind of have variations and 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 uh build off of others depending on who you're playing with uh and uh depending on who you're going against as well so i'm very excited to see what he figures out i would assume he figures it out this episode because i don't think they're gonna lose i think they will win uh i don't know i don't know how much they're gonna tease us and how far it's gonna go if it's gonna be like four to four or whatever i wouldn't be surprised if that does happen but at the end of the day i feel like they're gonna win because obviously he's the main character and then obviously they'll probably big borrow and then nario high is gonna get the short end of the stick and then boom he's disqualified and and uh, i guess see his mental crumble and see uh how much of a heavy blow it does to him because obviously like people that get disqualified and don't get chosen they're probably going to be you know severely severely like bummed and like frustrated and mad like you know i'm saying so uh rightfully so though he deserves it because he's been instigating isuki like a motherfucker he does not care he keeps on trying to you know bring isuki down to his level and that's what i think is really kind of fucking with isuki the most right now is because he's, he's he's starting to feel the pressure of like he's not that great and that he won't get chosen if say they lose the game but he needs to start you know, ignoring all of that and, and stop letting Naruhaya instigate him and, and fi just figure out what you need to do to, to keep on getting better, uh, which is what you've been doing thus far. But like right now, it seems like it's it's kind of hard to get past this mental block of him thinking that he's average. You know what I'm saying? Average Joes and geniuses. Even though he's not like a super, super genius or prodigy, I feel like he each time he's f figured something out, he's getting to another level where he can compete with a genius or a prodigy or, you know, whatever. So, um, very, very excited to get into this. Without further ado, let's fucking watch it. If you guys enjoy it, please leave a like down below, comment, and subscribe. There's plenty more on the way. Let's get into episode 15, Devour. Very, very excited for this. I'm ready to see this game finish up. I'm curious to see if this episode will be just the game, uh, and then it ends, or if we're gonna get the game finished up and then potentially see who the fuck we might play next in a 3v3. Naruhaya, you're gonna get you're gonna get what's coming to you real fucking soon. Let me tell you. 
That's what I love about this show, too. You never really know who's going to come back into play. Like, I never would have thought, like, because in the first selection, he was kind of just like a normal player, like, helped out the team here and there, played good defense. But now his ego is really starting to come out, as you can see, because he, he's, like, really confident in, like, beating Isagi and um, getting under his skin. Yeah, that's right. We saw him kick it, but did it, does it actually go in? It'd be hilarious if he misses, because it didn't show the goal going in. How do I know, bro? Yep, here comes fucking bot. Oh my god! So they made up and got the goal anyway. So I was expecting it to be 3-2, but I was actually kind of expecting Naruhaya to miss it. Even after all of that. Come on, Isagi, let's go! Figure it out! Damn, right into the intro. That came out of nowhere. Let's go. Get me in this. I want to see how this happens. Who the hell's going to overcome their limitation first? Yeah, so what do we need to change? What do we need to change or what do we need to add to make you able to play or beat somebody one-on-one? Let's go. You can do this. Come on. Ooh. Okay, all tied up. Three, three. We got two more goals on each side for y'all to be for you to be able to figure this out. Mmm. Damn, dude. Yeah, Nagi is doing everything right now. You gotta figure out whatever you need to do, Isagi. As soon as you figure that out, you're able to actually- you're gonna actually be able to fucking do something. This guy- this guy, Naruhaya, is determined to show that he's better than Isagi. Even a little bit. <laughs> little man. Mmm, god damn. All right, game point. It's now or never. It's now or never. That's what he's been paying attention to this whole time. He's been paying attention to his blind spot. That's how he keeps on getting behind. You're damn right he is. That's how he's abusing this. Mmm, okay. Uh, okay, so he's- yep. Okay, go, went back to flashback to what he said there, because if- if Isuki knows that it's coming, he can use that to his advantage and bait Naruhaya into his blind spot. Four to four. Let's go. Match point. He's thinking. Oh, I love this. I love this scene right here. It's like he's in an intense state of meditation and ego. Oh, that's the same thing he said in that game. Yes, sir. Let's go. Oh, my God. Already halfway. Come on, bro. Give me this shit, man. The fuck is this? Oh, Naruhaya's family? He has a big family. 
こんな生活抜け出す<笑> with cryptocurrency <laughs> you know why they're showing this now because he's about to go back to that wow both of their parents are gone that's sad so this is what's been driving him. He wants to become a pro athlete and be able to support his family. Makes perfect sense. But sorry, it's not going to happen, brother. Damn. Sad reality. That's what he's been holding on to. Okay, so it's like a good luck charm that, you know, yeah. From all of his siblings. It's crazy that they're showing this to us because it like makes you feel for him because he's trying so hard for his family, but he's going to lose. That's crazy. Mmm, <laughs> goalie actually saved that shit. Let's go. Yeah, it's time. Let's go. He's gonna shoot and miss. Yeah, you're thinking. You're thinking about. You're comparing yourself to Iski, though. You're not gonna make it. Yep, didn't make it. And that completely crushes ego right there. Yep, and that's why it didn't work. Mm. Perception of vision, your field of view. He checked behind him once. Boom. Okay. All right with the jukes, baby. Breaking his ankles and shit. Oh, now that looks fire. Let's go. You got to still make it your own. Ooh. Easy, baby. Let's go. Damn right. And that's the episode tile. Devour, baby. He devoured that skill from Naruhaya. Combined it and made it his own. Ooh. You already know who they're picking. Mm-hmm. We're going to see his fucking absolute frustration right now. Mm -hmm. That shit looks so fire, bro. Using like, because he was using Naruhaya's move, it used like the same color of like Naruhaya's ego and shit, like that aura. Like, nah, that shit looks so cool. A genius of adaptability. What a title. No way they pick Naruhaya, right? Okay. Yeah, I was about to say. Mm. Damn. Reality has set in. One more look at his good luck charm. Mm. Damn. Damn. Wild. That episode was so good. Is it going to end like right here? Okay, now we get a little we get a little bit more. We get a little bit more.
They're still picking their third member? Oh my god, what if they f pay play them next? Oh, see? Dude, didn't I say this a couple episodes ago? Didn't I say this a couple episodes ago? Bro, I swear I said this where they thought they were gonna... F I thought they were gonna pick him up. Damn, ends right there. Ooh, new ending? I don't remember this ending. I don't think it played it last last episode. I think last episode it went straight into the additional time and it just ended. Okay, new ending. I fuck with it. But yeah, I swear I swear I said that. I swear I said that like uh Kunigami and Shigeru might actually pick up Rayo since Rayo's alone from Nagi now. I swear I said that. I don't know. I'll have to go back and check in some of my previous reactions. Because that doesn't really surprise me right there. Since Rayo is like a good passer shit. But damn, he's been sulking this whole time. I'm surprised Shigeru and Kuguna Kunigami are even still there. Same with Rayo. Like, there's been so much going on. Like, how have y'all not chosen yet? <laughs> but imagine, like, because, like, now Baru, Isagi, and Nagi are moving on to the th third stage again, 3v3. Imagine they play them. Kunigami, Chigiri, and Rayo. That's gonna be wild if they do. Uh, <laughs> a fierce battle over a bed. <laughs> I am the rule. <laughs> <laughs> like shit, right? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, see, I didn't think that was additional time, so we still get this little extra scene. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking guy, dude. <laughs> it's like he's picking petals off of a flower, but it's his toothbrush, bro. <laughs> oh, dude, this show is so funny for that. <laughs> They're making this so dramatic. Hang in there, real. <laughs> Oh my god, what the actual fuck, bro? That is hilarious. That is so funny. Alrighty, guys. What another amazing episode of Blue Lock. That was really, really cool to see. As we saw, the game finishes up, and just like I thought, you know, as you can tell, you can kind of guess by since the main character being the main character, we're probably not going to lose. That's just a thing that you can tell with uh, anime from time to time. It was cool to see what he figured out in order to kind of evolve and figure out his own one-on-one -on -one scenarios and situations. And it just so happens that since they are two kind of opposite average Joes or whatever you want to call them or what they were being called at the, at the time from Naruhaya, Naruhaya was good with his movement and he was getting in Isagi's blind spot every time to where Isagi like didn't notice him get past him this and that so like that's what Naruhaya was abusing with his movement and then Isagi on the other hand uh Isagi didn't have that movement but he had like the uh something else I can't remember what it was like the d direct shot or whatever so they, they they're they're skill set and, and those two skill sets right there were completely opposite like one had the other and the other one had the the, the other one so it was really cool to see how Isuki eventually started putting the pieces together and he keeps on deconstructing himself completely and building himself up to a new player uh with whatever info or whatever puzzle pieces he needs and it just so happens with this one it was emulating whatever the other person was good at and like kind of making it your own which naruhaya tried to do first he tried to do that first whenever uh he had a chance to score the goal after it rebounding off of the goalie from um Baru's kickoff and then 
he was literally gonna ha he literally took a direct shot just like Iski. I mean it, they they're making it look very similar too so you know that they're trying to emulate whatever the hell they're doing so he was trying to emulate Isagi's direct shot which he does but as as I called it like he missed it he missed it he hit the goalpost and that's where he kind of he, he, he felt the despair and he was like I missed like you know what I'm saying so th that's where you have to really uh, make the move your own if you're gonna try and emulate it you can't just just like emulate everything and you have to make it your own somehow which is what Isagi did with Narahaya's skill and um, as he was you know off the off off ball one on one with Baru as he was running with him he made sure that he was paying attention to Baru's eyes whenever Baru was looking at him mainly because he's trying to defend him and in that one split second where he turns his eyes behind him to see Nagi coming up behind him that's where Iski takes the moment to cut over behind him and then Baru has to you know you know uh, adjust and get ready for that again and within that Isaki cuts back to where he was before and kind of jukes him out and, and, and breaks, his, breaks his ankles a little bit to allow him to be able to be free and, and get an open open spot. And that's where uh, Nagi actually was able to pass the ball to Isaki because now he's open. And then Isaki was able to use his already built-in formula where he was able to use his direct shot and then make that final goal, which is really, really cool to see. And uh, I'm glad we got through that. And they even gave us a little bit more of a backstory and kind of like a shedding light on Narahaya's uh, drive and his goals and why he came to Blue Lock and why he has the dream that he has for, you know his reasoning for his dream of becoming you know a pro soccer player and that's basically for you know supporting his family because it's just him and his siblings because uh, apparently uh, his parents were in an accident and they're, they've, they're both already passed away and it's been two years since then we saw in that flashback and then that's when he started to he left and went to blue lock and that's so that's what he's had in this, his pocket the whole time i noticed that last episode um he kept on like holding on to something i was like what the fuck is he holding on to like why does he keep showing us that and that's why why that's why they kept showing us that is now we get that closure in this episode where that was a good luck charm from his siblings and he was holding on to that and that was what was really giving him the drive to try his best and you know hopefully move up all the way uh to becoming a pro soccer player and being able to support his family like he wanted to with uh you know getting the the, the amount of money that you do being a professional athlete so it, it really you know kind of pulls on your heartstrings a little bit for him uh and uh just shows like you know the sad reality that he's going to lose this game Having his siblings backing him up and having that good luck charm is like really reassuring for him and I'm sure it pushed him a long way but even that was not enough which is the sad reality that it, uh, the, you know, the, the show and the story shows you. It's like even though he had all that like it's not enough and uh, for a second there at the end I thought for some reason that like, he's, like just how long they were like pulling it and like pulling our legs for this moment. I thought for a second Isagi was going to choose Narahaya. I was like, there's no way. There's no way because if, if, if Narahaya gets chosen, Baro literally has to leave. Like, he's done. Like, he's done done. Like, there's no more second chances for him, which is what, you know, obviously happened to Narahaya instead, which I was expecting. But the way that they were pulling it, pulling our legs right there for a second, I thought, I thought for a quick, quick second that he might have chosen our high and I was like there's no way and sure enough chooses Baru and uh, you know now they're a three man team and uh, then I think that's pretty much where the ending started and then we get a little extra scene where they're fighting over who's going to get the single bed uh, so their team or their group dynamic is already hilarious right now just because Nagi and Baru have already been constantly butting heads and Isagi's like trying to mediate it but also <laughs> have his own way in uh, their crazy dynamic so it's really cool to see and I thought that was the additional time for a second but now the additional time was after that and we actually get to see the new ending this time because there was no ending last episode so we see the new ending that was really good I fuck with it uh, and then the additional time that shit was hilarious it looks like Chigiri, Kunigami and and um, Rayo are teaming up for a three-man. And I'm kind of surprised they didn't choose anybody yet. That's uh, one other thing that we saw in the extra scene. Or not the additional time, but like the extra scene after the ending or whatever. 
is that uh, Ch yeah, Chigiri and Kunigami hadn't chosen anybody yet, and then they saw Rayo, and Rayo was still sulking about Nagi like leaving him. It's like, bro, come on, get over it. So it looks like they're finally they're actually gonna team up and form a team of three. So it'd be fucking hilarious if Kunigami, Chigiri, and Rayo go up against Nagi and Isagi like right away after this in Baru. That would be actually so wild. And then whoever they choose and who who goes down in the two like nah, bro, that's just gonna be wild. Very excited to see that. But yeah, I was really surprised at first that uh, Rayo was still sulking and Kunigami and Chigiri hadn't chosen anybody yet, but I'm glad we at least got to see that and they're, they're forming a three-man team. That was pretty much what the additional time was. It's like <laughs> Rayo was in the bathroom plucking hairs out of his toothbrush like a flower petal, you know? Like you, you pick one petal, is, is Nagi coming back? You pick another petal, is Nagi not coming back? And you just keep going and keep going until you get to the last petal or hair on the toothbrush in this case. And it's like Nagi's coming back, and then he like starts to smile, like dude. He <laughs> then the show and the author, I I don't know if it's. I mean, I'm assuming I'm assuming this like these scenes and stuff like that is not in the manga because it's just a short like 30 second extra you know clip. But they're funny as shit for that. That one actually made me laugh because like the like the like intense soundtrack started, and it's like he's just picking a toothbrush by himself and shit, and like fighting his own like mental. That shit was funny. That was a funny one. That one actually what, like made me fucking geek. But yeah, all in all, in another amazing episode. Isagi, uh, you know, conquered his one-on-one -on -one scenario with his formula and devoured Narahaya's skill set or formula uh, himself and was able to use it in his own way. And that's what made the difference in them winning the game. So another amazing episode of Blue Lock. Can't wait for the next one. But regardless, I'll see y'all on the next reaction. If y'all enjoyed this one, please have a like down below. Comment and subscribe if you're new. Plenty more on the way. I'll see y'all on the next one. Deuces.